So we get a lot of people asking us, you know, what kind of push mower they should buy. You know, what do we recommend? Um, they just want something that's going to last for a while, and they don't want to spend a lot of money, of course, because it's just a push mower just for trimming. And a lot of people laugh when, when I say, um, get a Poland Pro. <laughs> they're, they're cheap, but, man, they're durable. They last. I mean, you can pick up one of these Poland Pros uh, like you're going to see here in this video for, you know, somewhere between, uh, you know, I don't know, 160 bucks to 200 bucks, depending on if you want high wheels or you want a bagger or whatever. Um, at that kind of money, you know, you're, you're paying like what, $80 to a hundred dollars, maybe even more a year to get a walk behind mower serviced in the winter time. This thing here, if you use it for two years and it doesn't break, you throw it away and buy a new one. You just broke even, um, no, oh, even if it lasts three years, this one here that we're gonna you're gonna be seeing that we're using, um, I think this one was like five years old, I believe, from what the serial number says. And we're mowing in grass that all the grass around was at least six inches tall. A lot of it that we're mowing down is about eight to twelve inches tall, and it had rained here for three days straight and was raining again while we were mowing with this mower. This has the single cylinder Briggs and Stratton engine on it. It's got the plastic carburetor, so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting water in there and everything corroding up and things like that. It's got the primer on the side. This model's got the high wheels, so it's easier to push. This is a two-in-one where you can mulch or um, side discharge. Like I said, they have the other ones that are three-in-one where you can mulch, side discharge, or bag. They cost a little bit more, but still, they're, they're cheap. They're durable. They push easy, and if you don't feel like maintaining it, just throw it away. Get a new one. You're not really out a whole lot of money. So after all that, just tip the thing up on its side, the carburetor side of the engine up, hose it out, put it away, and get it back out and mow again. Real simple. So this was a test of our Poland Pro here, and as you can see, it held its own in this tall, wet weather, even for having some age on it. Um, some of you out there might be laughing at you know us saying that you should look into buying one of these mowers if you're just looking for a good, reliable dependable mower to trim up with but um we've actually had uh quite a few bit people around us that have bought these for commercial use and the biggest reason was that they could just take this thing use it and beat it up for a season and at the end of the year if there's nothing left of it they're only out like 180 bucks you know throw it away and get another one it, it's kind of sickening if you have a uh you know like a six or seven hundred dollar john deere walk behind or a honda or a toro or a husqvarna and you see your summertime help letting it go rolling down a hill and into a pond, you know, <laughs> they do that with one of these. And what are you out again? 180 bucks. You know, it might even be salvageable. Who knows? But um, yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those things. Why have your good equipment beat up when you can buy one of these? <laughs> 